give your your track some space after you finish writing it. Don't just send it straight like I have to people like Matthias Tansman and then realise it's a piece of shit. I have a series called Five Things Producers Need to Know. Um, the term producer is pretty big these days. So some people have gone pretty down the production end. Some people have gone down the life advice. Some people have gone in the DJing advice because obviously that's still the same thing these days. Um, yeah. I thought I'd ask you your five and then we can make this into a separate piece of content for that series. Okay, so, all right, my- Huxley, your top five things producers need to know. Number one. Top five. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a bit of a bit of uh, everything. So, Go for it. number five, focus on the kick and the bass when you're coming to mix it in a house record because that's going to be the thing that actually moves people. That's quite an obvious one, obviously, but so many times people overlook the relationship between the kick and the bass um, and just think, right, I've ducked it from the kick, so it's fine now. No, you need to focus a bit more. Two, I'm going to go back to what we said earlier. If you're sampling, be creative about it. Cut different bits up. Don't just use loops. Like, Use it as an instrument, not just as a thing that you throw in. Three. Give your your track some space after you finish writing it. Don't just send it straight like I have to people like Matthias Tansman and then realise it's a piece of shit. Um, so actually spend the t- give it a bit of space, give it a week or something, um, uh, and then come back to it. And if it's good, finish it. Um, and if it's not, fuck it off. Not everything has to be finished and sent out just because you finish a track. I guess that's not... That's number four. Just because you finish a track doesn't mean it's good enough to send out. So just be really careful with how you do it. And number five, it's a bit bit of advice, but it's something actually Chris Spiro from Denson Pika told me to do. If you're stuck in a studio, what he does, and I started doing it, is write five different ideas in an hour or two hours. Get really... I'm precious. So do one, get to a point, get move on, and then uh, go back through those fives later in the day and you will hear which one is worth kind of carrying on and then do that. That's that's some of my advice. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, gang in the chat, I went mental when you said kick test because that's that track we, we made that sample. And gang in the chat, I've got a new button. Look, ready? Okay, pass the kick test. I quite like the kick. There, got a new button. <laughs> Wow, there you go. Watch this video next for more tips for DJs and producers and consider subscribing so you get these videos first. I have been Graham Farmer and thanks for tuning in this week. See you next week. Bye-bye.